I've been wanting to say this shit to y'all for years, respectfully, to the black Hebrew Israelites. What purpose do y'all serve, bro? Every time I see you niggas, y'all standing on street corners, dressed like superheroes and barbarians, just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit but to cause con confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. Bunch, bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, I mean, because you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a turbinate cape. I'm supposed to listen to you, son. Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas. Respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money. Broke ass, angry niggas, man. Y'all get on my nerves. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Meals, and I do real well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. And as you just seen, all right, on this video, it is stupid nigga, man. Exactly what he is, all right, talking shit against the truth, talking shit against the prophets, man. And this is Jake's whole mindset, you know, because they don't understand what we're in. They don't understand what's going on. They think that they were just brought over here to America to just be a slave forever, serve Esau forever, make money, live your life, do whatever the fuck you want to do in wickedness. But that's <laughs> the whole message is to repent. Come back to y'all about your mouth shy. This is what we telling you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans. And hey, he 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 tries to say, you know, he said a hey, a whole bunch of angry black men on the corner. Ain't just angry black men. It's a native so-called Native American, so-called Mexican. And then some brothers look like the other nations. Some brothers look Chinese. Some brothers look so-called white man. Because the uh, nation of Israel have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and the men mingled with other women, had sex with them, all right, had children with them, man. And their kids come out looking like uh, the other nations. But they are Israelites still because of the seed of the father. So we look like a many, many different nations, all kind of nations. They ain't just angry black men on the corner. All right. And we angry for a fucking reason. We in hell. We in slavery. You should be angry too, nigga. But Jake is happy to, hey, Jake is happy to be a slave, man, because they could chase the bag. They get some money. They get some used box. You know, so they comfortable. But you ain't supposed to be comfortable here in hell. This is our. This is not our rest, as it says in Micah two and ten. This is our punishment. This is our hell. This is our slavery. This was set up for us to come back and call upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for deliverance. Not be a part of this system, man. Not chase money, but to get by. Our daily bread. That's all we need. We don't need to be fucking rich. We don't need to be famous. And then who is this nigga? Where your money at? <laughs> Talking all this shit. Where your money at? What you doing for the society? What you doing for the so-called black community? But, do, but, but wearing a fucking tight ass head and talking shit. That's why the Lord is going to kill a lot of, uh, of uh, Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is why the Lord's going to kill a lot of niggas. Because that's what y'all are. You're niggas. You're not Yasharala. You have the blood of Yasharala. But you have the ashes of heathen. Which is why the Lord is going to destroy you. What any further ado, I'm going to jump into it. No, I want to start with this Micah. Because Jake really think that this place is the end all be all. They, they really believe this. They think that we just... Hey, we just out here on the corner... Preaching this word, lifting up our voice like a trumpet for no reason. We just came out of nowhere and just started doing this. Like we're getting paid to do this. We don't get paid to do this, man. 
We're doing this because we love our people. We love Yahweh Bashem and Shai. And ultimately, we have the spirit to prophesy upon us. It says that who could but prophesy? Yahweh have hope. Yahweh have spoken. Let me just get it. Well, who can who, who can but prophesy? The Lord put the spirit on us. Hey man, hey, we, we're gonna prophesy. We're gonna preach this word, whether you like it or not. Whether you whether you seek to put us to death, it doesn't matter. We're still gonna do this word. Still, we're still gonna do this work. Still gonna push this word no matter what. This Amos 3. Amos 3 and I'm gonna start at 7. Surely Yahweh, surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing. But he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And we have the secrets from the Lord. Lord, a hey, Yahweh Shemal Shai is truly dealing with us, starting with our elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, giving us this wisdom and this knowledge. This understanding uh, about what's going on in the world. Hey, what, why we were put into slavery, why we were put in this predicament, why people are in the ghettos, why people got to had a, a, a they, 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 they want that mindset to think of chasing the bag. We know why all these things are happening. Because we are the prophets. The spirit of the Lord is really is really down here on the earth, man, whether you can receive it or not. But we had to understand that we have those secrets. It says the Lord have slack you. It says the lion have word who will not fear. So if a lion is worrying, you're going to fear. <laughs> no, no man can stand before a lion. You're going to fear because you're, you're, you're a risk. You're a great risk of death. It says Yahweh, it says the Lord Yahweh have spoken. Who can but prophesy? So when Yahweh Bashim al Shai speaks unto you, his spirit comes and starts to uh, deal with you, man. All right. Opens up your eyes to the truth and give you uh, an understanding heart. And then put that spirit of prophecy to be a prophet on you. Who can but prophesy? You're going to prophesy. You're going to say things, things that you uh, have seen. Like, hey, you got women who see certain dreams. You know, they have certain dreams, man. Well, I seen, I, I seen a, a, a black man coming from the sky. He was destroying everything. What, what do you what, do you think they just having that dream for no reason? No. All right. And they go on, on, online and, and, and tell you what's going on. And, and they... And, you know, at times they even say, well, it's, it's, I, I, I seen Jesus. He's a black man, which his real name is Yahweh Shai. And the reason why they have those, those dreams is because of uh, uh, um, the Lord putting the, putting the spirit of prophecy out there. All right, putting this, the, the spirit of um, having visions out there. All right, and, and confirming the words of the prophets as well, because we, we've been saying these things. We read these things out the scriptures. We've given you the understanding. And then also it says um, that your sons and daughters shall prophesy meaning you, you're going to see visions you're going to see dreams and you're going to go and talk about it and tell what you've seen because women they do not prophesy and they are not prophets but that's what that means we have many many uh, um, accounts and videos of women going out and doing that okay but it's ultimately because the Lord is putting his spirit out here so people like this you just don't understand it you don't get it what is your purpose? Why are you here? To just be destroyed, man. And that's it. That's all. You, a lot of you niggas are just here to die. Be destroyed by Yahweh by Shema Shai by way of ICBM nuclear missile fire. Even before that, Jacob Trouble, Beast to Tear. All type of weird uh, uh, judgments is, is about to start getting unleashed out here, man. All type of manners of death is about to get unleashed and you jakes are gonna you're gonna be a great part of it because you reject the prophets it's proverbs 11 to 4 riches profit not in a day of wrath but righteousness delivered from death righteousness delivered from death which is why we are seeking righteousness riches ain't gonna help you in that day when all hell break loose ain't no food out here Esau changed up the currency. You got the MOTB coming. <laughs> you got the MOTB coming. You, get, you, you ain't going to have no way to eat. And then a lot of you niggas, hey, a nigga like that, is going to jump right on the MOTB. Why ain't y'all niggas got it? Why ain't y'all got it? Y'all want y'all kids to eat? No. I ain't trying to be destroyed, man. My kids go eat through the spear and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, not through no fucking Esau, man. If, hey, if, the, if the Lord wants to a deliver you, bring you through something. He's he's gonna deliver you and bring you through it. Going and chasing uh, something else is only is only gonna confirm your damnation. Matthew six and thirty three. 
But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. But seek ye first, chiefly, above all things, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. You're going to get all of this. Hey, let me just start up. All these things will be added unto you, man. This is um verse, verse 30. It says, Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which to which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith <laughs> so hey, we're hey, we're greater than a uh, uh, grass man we're greater than grass we're greater than birds and all these other things but what the lord gives them their substance he provides for them how much more us it says therefore take no thought saying what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed for after all these things do the gentiles see that's a gentile mindset that's a hedonistic mindset oh, i gotta go chase the bag i gotta go get this money in order to 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 do this to, to to survive to provide to be good no man you don't need none of that you don't need none of that to to really survive and provide and be provided for out here of course you know we work you know we get our money and we a a lot of us got Better jobs than that nigga, that nigga who was talking shit. Making more money than a lot than, than a lot of these niggas out here. Majority of these niggas out here. We actually work. Okay? We actually provide for our families. But the, the whole thing is that that's not our whole mindset. That's not our, our, our focus. Our focus is to serve y'all by Shemal Shai. So that we can be delivered and... If we have families, Lord willing, deliver our families. But uh, money, money and riches and fame is not going to get you any of that. Only thing that's going to do is pull you away from your house by Shema Shai and get you closer to death. Yeah, sit, that's all. It says, it says in the same chapter. It says in the same chapter, man. I'm, I'm going to jump back to it. It says, verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will, love, he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. So you can't have two masters. You can't serve the Lord and you can't uh, uh, um, serve money, serve this world, serve Esau, Edom. Can't do that, man. And we're going to always choose to serve Yahweh by Shema al we, we ain't trying to chase the bag, man. See, niggas, niggas just mad because we rebuking their ass. They mad because we. Telling them what they should be doing, how, how they should be living their lives, and not doing the folly and wickedness that they do on a day to day basis. And it ain't even about the money. These niggas just mad, man. The niggas mad because they can't do what we doing. Because they can't control their flesh. They can't stop eating pork. <laughs> so they mad and they want to talk shit. And these niggas just hate us. It's just what it is. Good is set against evil. It says Matthew 6 and 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father know it, that ye have need of all these things. So the Lord already knows what we need, man. All we need to do is, is, is this. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All these things will be added unto us if we seek the righteousness of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Seek the kingdom. Which is going out here, pushing his word, whether they hear it or forbear, whether they listen or make their face hard against ours, talk shit, it don't matter, man. Still got to do his work. You still got to push the kingdom of heaven. The apostles were beaten, and they went right back out the next day to push the word. Teaching the name of Yahweh Shah. They said, don't teach in his name no more. They went right back out and talk. That's the spirit we got to be in. That's the spirit we supposed to be in. Fuck what a nigga got to say, man. Hey, you talking to a dead man at the end of the day. Nigga making a video just to mark himself. Now brothers done made hundreds of videos on this dude. I go on my time feed. That's, you know, there's a little subscription thing. That's all I see. Videos, brothers making videos on this dude. Hey, you just mark yourself, man. Now I want to get this word for righteousness. Strong's G, 1343. Dikeyasune. Dikeyasune. It says, in a broad sense, state of him who is as he ought to be. Hey, this is the whole duty of man. 
To serve the Lord, to fear Yahweh Hashem is the whole duty of man. And by and we are fearing the Lord by doing this work. If you don't fear the Lord, you won't be doing it. You're going to seek something else. It says righteousness, all right? Righteousness, serving Yahweh Hashem Shai. The condition acceptable to Yahweh. The doctrine concerning the way in which man may obtain a state approved of God. <laughs> So this is how you become approved of Yahweh Shema Shai by uh hey it says Proverbs 8 chapter. Uh I still got one more. But hey, that's the that's the whole thing. Alright, hey, doing this, doing this work, following the words and wisdom of Yahweh Shema Shai is gonna make us acceptable unto him and it's gonna provide it's, it's gonna cause the Lord to provide all things for us. Daniel was in the lion's den and he ate. Shidrach, Shidrach, Meshach, and Abednego went into the fir went into the fiery furnace, heated up more more than it than it should have been heated up. They went they went into the fiery furnace, and it was nothing that happened to them. It was like they never even went in the furnace. The Lord is going to provide for us. He's going to protect us. Not no goddamn money, and not Esau Edom, and nothing else. Not your guns, not your combat, your knowledge and martial arts. None of that is going to help you in that day. Only thing that's gonna help you is your how about Shema Shai. So you gotta you gotta lean to this wisdom. Proverbs 8 32. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children. For blessed are they that keep my ways. Blessed are they that keep that keep his ways. So the so the opposite of that is cursed. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despised the word shall be destroyed. But he that feared the commandment. Shall be rewarded. <laughs> we are commanded to go out there on the highways and bad ways, man. Lift up our voice like a trumpet. A hey, be fools for Mashiach's sake. That's a hey, that's what we are commanded to do. And the Lord said we're gonna be rewarded for it. I have not I have not seen, ear have not heard what Yahweh Bashima Al Shai have uh, uh, um prepared for them that waited on him. So the Lord got a great reward for us, man. But as for you niggas, your reward is going to be death and destruction. Thermonuclear missile fire. That's your reward. Sit, that's all. It says Proverbs 8 and 33. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. You're supposed to hearken to this. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Hey, every single day you, you, you're trying to see what the Lord is trying to uh, get you into what type of lesson you about to do what 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 the brothers what the brothers doing man you know what videos brothers putting up you you constantly trying to see what the spirit is talking about that's the spirit that you're supposed to be in and you're going to be blessed for having that mindset by being a shit talking nigga and, and chasing money and chasing a bag is only going to get you destroyed it says for whoso finding me find it life and shall obtain favor of the Lord and that's the point we are gonna find a favor, favor from Yahweh Hashem Al Shai in these last days by seeking His righteousness, seeking the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, obtain a state approved of Yahweh. That's a, that's, that's, a, that's the main thing we should be doing, man. <laughs> Amen. The Lord for to bring so much death, so much destruction on this earth, like a time never before. The last thing you should be thinking about is anything in this world. Like a like the uh the guy that went back into the world to chase, you know, chase a scene career and the Lord killed him. The Lord put him to death, man. Quickly. It wasn't years later. Man, this could have been weeks, a week, weeks. The Lord put that man to death. This is not the time to be playing with y'all about Shimao Shah. This is the time to be getting right. We are a literally in, in, in judgment season. It says that every morning the Lord brings his judgments uh, um, to light. So every morning the Lord is bringing out more and more judgment. And it's only going to ramp it up and get worse. So the whole focus is to be serving him. Proverbs 8 and 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All day that hate me love death. You ain't doing nothing but killing yourself. You ain't doing nothing but killing yourself, man. You love death. This is um second address one. You hate Yahweh Shemal Shai, you hate his prophets, you just love to die. 
<laughs> you just love to suffer. You just love to dwell in torments. Because that's what's coming. It says Second Ezra the ninth chapter. It said you're going to dwell in torments. And that's for you Israelites. That's what the Lord is directly speaking to you. Fuck you, you, you jakes, man. You niggas. Get right. Or die. It's that simple. It says Second Ezra 1 and... Second Edges one and twenty five, seeing ye have forsaken me, and this Lord speaking to speaking to Israel, seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When ye when ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. And you go have guys like this calling out to God, God help me, God save me, help me feed my kids, and what the Lord is not going to have no mercy on you. He's not going to be gracious. He ain't going to have no mercy upon you niggas whatsoever i shall have no mercy upon you none only thing that's gonna come to you, come to you is, is is weeping and gnashing of the teeth torments all kinds of pains that you can't even imagine right now it's possible is gonna come to you jakes it says and what the lord said that he's gonna mock <laughs> we gonna mock this is gonna mock me your fear coming we're gonna mock we're gonna laugh at you niggas when all hell breaks breaks loose we're going to be in a merry spirit, says we're going to laugh at famine. Yeah, how right the Zah, we be, a, we, be, we be those men, man. Second Ezra 1 and 26. Uh, Whensoever ye shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For ye have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. Ye have not, as it, as it were, forsaken me, but your own selves, said Yahweh. So you forsook yourself. You, for, you forsook yourself, man. You deny the Lord. You deny his prophets. You just said, I want to die. Kill me now. Slit my throat. That's all you said. Torment, torture me. Because the Lord is the only thing that can help you. <laughs> Nothing else can help you, man. Nothing. Money cannot help you. Esau cannot help you. Your woman can't fucking help you. Nothing can help you besides the Lord. You can't help your damn self. Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains, from these governments, from these powers that set up, what they set up. None of that, none of that is going to help you. Truly in, truly in Yahweh, our power is the salvation of Israel. That's truly where, where salvation is at. That's truly where deliverance is at, man. Protection, eating, drinking. That's where it's at in Yahweh, Hashem, our Shai. Not in anything else. So you must seek his righteousness. Matthew 6 and 34. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day. Uh, um, yeah, su sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Alright, so... At the end of the day, it's always going to be something, you know, to uh, to come to hinder us or whatever, man. It said we have a, a, a bag with holes in it. We're subject to payment. So chasing after this world, none, none, none of that is, is, is going to help you because you're set up in this place to fail. You're set up in this place to be in, uh, um, in, in straits and in pain. It says that this is not our rest. This is not our rest, man. We're supposed to be seeking the Lord. It says that in um, the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. But you got these guys, they, they look, all right, man, I got a whole 10-year plan, 40-year plan. We ain't thinking like that. We're taking it one day at a time, man. This is, um, let's see, I think it's here. Yeah, this is Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So we're supposed to be seeking the Lord ten times more. That's why the prophets are out here on the highways and bad ways. To give you a chance at repentance. That's why we're here, man. Not so you can look at us and, oh man, I, I, hate, I hate these guys. Uh, I, hate, I hate what they say and they just scream it. Like, <laughs> like, it's, like it's a problem for a man to, it, it is. It's a problem for a man to raise his voice in this place. You're supposed to be all timid. You're supposed to be quiet, tucked up. No, man. 
You're supposed to say, hey, you, hey man, you're supposed to hey, hi, hey, hi, and let that loose. Yeah, man, these dudes just pussy fat, man. And they and they just they just ultimately hate the message. That's really what it is. They hated him that rebuked it at the gate. Niggas just love to be wicked. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. So we are commanded by Yahweh Hashem al Shai to lift up our voice like a trumpet. So we should be out there screaming. We should be out there angry. It says that um, surely oppression making a wise man mad. We ain't supposed to be happy in this goddamn place. We angry as fuck every day. <laughs> you should be angry every day. It's not a day that that sh that should go that should go by where you like yeah I actually I actually like America. I actually love being here. No, bro, never. We never be cool with this place. We never be down with this with this rape. It's just what it is. We were forced over here, brought over here to follow. A, a wicked man's system, a wicked man's ways. We know who we know who our who our husband is. You see, how about Shema Shai? Point blank, period. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad, and a gift destroyed the heart. So we're supposed to be in an angry state of mind. If you're a man of wisdom, you will be pissed. You will be angry. You're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna love your captive. Being a, 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 what is that man, a um, Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome mindset. You're going to be trying to get back to, get back to where you came from. And that's our whole mindset, trying to get back to our husband, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Get back to our homeland, man, Jerusalem. Yerushalayim, in the, in the, uh, Yash, in the um, Lashawan Kodash. It's the real Hebrew. So... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get this Proverbs. Proverbs 13 and 7. Proverbs 13 and 7. There is that make it himself rich, yet have nothing. So they, these guys, they make themselves rich, but you ain't got nothing. You ain't got no wisdom. You ain't got no knowledge, no understanding. And there's power in knowledge. Power in wisdom. Hey, he talking about what y'all, y'all, y'all just, what, what, a, what a book go do for me. <laughs> My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Your kids go eat fucking bullets. Your kids are gonna eat fire. Your kids are gonna eat they 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 goddamn tongue. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna perish. And you're gonna eat your children in that day. I pray to I pray your how about smile shy makes you eat your children in that day. Talking to all this shit. Money like money is gonna provide for you in every way. Yeah, alright, well let's see. Let's see what it does. You're gonna eat that money in that day. You niggas finna, hey, you, you finna go through it, man. Wisdom is everything. There is that making himself poor, yet have great riches. We got great riches. Because we have made ourselves poor for Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Says that, uh, what, what shall we have? What shall we have there for? We're going to have everything. This is Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have there for? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So we're going to be kings above the nation of Israel, and certainly above all the rest of these heathen nations. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So all you niggas that want to be first in this world, you want to chase the bag, you want to get the money, you want to be a, a number one class A dude, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord. And then you're going to come back into the kingdom, and you're going to be a least Israelite. But we're trying to be the kings, we're trying to be the rulers. We trying to have that hundredfold mixed in with an everlasting life on the first go round. So I'm gonna end on this. This Revelation two and nine says, "I know thy works and poverty." Uh, it's like it. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. 
I was just talking about uh, Israelites, man. They think that, you know, that's saying that they serve the Lord, saying that they doing what's right. They, 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 are, they are, you know, the Israel of God, but really they're hey, ravening wolves and they're Satan. They're wicked. But the first part is that hey, we're, we're rich. We're going through all this, you know, tribulation, persecution. People talk shit against us, man. We go through all kind of hell. It says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But at the end of the day, we're rich because we have this wisdom and this knowledge, which is far above anything that you can uh, obtain in this life. Far above any riches, any fame, anything that you can get. So this is the number one thing that we should be seeking. Not no damn money. Not with, not with what these niggas talking about, man, but what the prophets are talking about. What Yahweh Shema or Shai is talking about. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chak, Wadash, double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Mules, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that are pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom.